just lost it there. Good evening, folks, and welcome to the Jasper File. As some of you may already know, the measles outbreak in the Pacific Northwest continues to spread. Here to comment on this topic and more is Dr. Jean Eugene Jeaner. Welcome back, folks. Uh, as I stated earlier, we are discussing the current measles outbreak in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, it's affected many families, and with me here to discuss this topic and more is Dr. Jean Eugene Jeaner. Now, Dr. Jeaner, uh, go ahead and tell the folks at home a little bit about yourself and uh, a little bit about your background. Yes, uh, thank you, thank you, uh, Jasper. Uh, thank you for having me on the show. It's just really uh, uh, an honor to be here. Um, a little bit about myself. Um, well, I have uh, I've been interested in uh, natural medicine for um, about sixty-five years. Um, because I've been so interested in it that I've had double interest for about 30 years, hence 65 years. Um, and that's just really my passion. So I just am really excited to uh, – Excited to what now? What? You, you were saying that you were excited and uh, then you kind of trailed off. Oh, uh, sorry about that. Um, excited to be here. Thank you. Please, thank you. Uh, well, we are certainly excited to have you on the show, uh, especially given the current state of the measles crisis. Now, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Jean. Uh, it's Dr. Um, Jeaner. Dr. Jeaner. Oh, right. Doctor? Uh, Dr. Jeaner. Uh, my, my apologies. Doctor? Now, this, that, this medical degree, uh, can, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, qualifications? My qualifications? I, can I tell you? Yes, I can. Uh, like I said, I've been interested for quite a while in natural medicine. So um, about three months ago, um, I got my degree um, at the Institute of Science for Scientists. Uh, I came across them doing some of my blog searching uh, at uh, uh, www.realsciencematters.com uh, slash Jenny was right slash this is easier than you slash uh, believe dot get your degree dot com slash dot com and uh, that, that, that that's a good good program I've heard yeah of that one. if you could even put it across the screen for the viewers so they can check it out themselves that'd be good Jasper hey, uh, yeah Terry could you uh Get a title going on that. Great, great idea. I like Terry. Terry is one of the best in the industry, that is for sure. Now, uh, Dr. Gene, I can uh, Dr. Gener? test. Dr. Gene? Uh, yes, that, that's right. My apologies, Dr. Gene. Uh, I can personally attest to your services. You might remember a few months back I sent you a... I got Terry to take a photo of my hemorrhoids, and he sent it sent it on down there to uh, to you via the internet, and you were able to diagnose it and send me up some medicinal herbs uh, to apply to the area of concern, and it, it worked out wonderfully. Very glad to hear it. Yes, very good. Dr. Gene, what would Dr. you say Gener? makes you an ex uh, doc Dr. Gene, my apologies once again, what would you say makes you an expert on the measles? Well, um, funny you should ask. Um, I actually just got back from traveling out to the Pacific Northwest there. I seem to always find myself where these outbreaks occur. Uh, they seem to find me. Um, well, I've had the measles seven times. Now, what is your take on the, the media's coverage of this measles outbreak? Is, uh, do you think it has been blown out of proportion? Jasper, don't even get me started about how this has been blown out of proportion. Did I mention, did I forget to mention that I was there in Seattle? I walked around in the streets of Seattle for about, 
probably 25 minutes, and I only met one person who knew anything even about the measles. I mean, what are these people in hospitals or something? <laughs> it's totally blown out of proportion. Now, Gene. Dr. Uh, Dr. Dr. Gene. Dr. Gene. My apologies. Uh, the liberal media is blowing this way out of proportion, as they often do. And uh, personally, I am not vaccinated. The media would like to have the good folks at home believe that they need to be vaccinated. What is your take on that? Uh, think about it logically. I find that makes much more sense to think something through than to rely on a scientist's data. Okay, data. Um, is someone sitting at home watching TV more likely to spread measles, mumps, or rubella? Or somebody who goes to a doctor and gets those diseases injected into their body, okay, and then goes out and starts coughing on people? Think about it. Think about it. Okay? That is some pretty solid, uh, solid evidence Thank you. There. Thank you. Sorry, I get worked up on now, this. I apologize. I, I understand. Uh, I get worked up every time I watch CNN personally. And uh, Clinton News <clears throat> Network, am I right? Now, Gene... Uh, Dr. Gene? Uh, Dr. Gene, once again, I'm so sorry. Uh, what do you do uh, for a living down there in Tennessee? Well, um, right now I'm in between jobs, as they say. Um, in between jobs, but I have recently opened up my own um, health food store, um, all raw, all organic, non-GMO. Um, it's actually uh, uh, on Main Street um, in the old GI surplus store, right around the corner from the Piggly Wiggly. Uh, now, Gene, could you also uh, give our listeners a little bit more insight into some possible alternatives to vaccination for their children? Yes, um, some possible alternatives. Um, check me out. Check me out on uh, my website, www.gisurplus.com slash now health food store. Uh, we had to take over their website, too. It's cheaper that way. You wouldn't understand. Uh, ask Terry, maybe. Um, and we can get them some of these broccoli stocks that I've been uh, – genetically modifying so they don't grow the head the heads the big green leafy part um nobody likes that now uh, dr janer um uh, uh, oh hey, hey uh terry could you uh i think i heard the doorbell ring could you go check on that real quick no i i'm pretty sure i heard it just go just just go check thank you now uh dr janer uh I, dr janer i want didn't want i didn't want to Terry to hear, but he's been having some irritable bowel syndrome lately, and I was wondering if there was something you could send my way. He's a little bit sensitive about the topic, which is, you know, why I don't want him to know. Oh, yes. Uh, uh, I've got just the thing. I'll send it right to you. Next day mail. No. Th I, I, uh, th those of us in the studio would certainly appreciate Just make it. out, just make that out the much. check to Dr. Gene, Eugene Gener. Okay. Well, uh, Dr. Jainer, it's been a pleasure to get you to come on our program here and, and you know, uh, just expound on the truth of this measles outbreak. Yes. Uh, I'm certain that the folks at home have uh, been enlightened. And is there any, any parting words that you have for our listeners here today and our viewers? Uh, Jasper, I just would uh, kind of reiterate um, the importance of what we're discussing. Uh, everybody needs to stay informed. Um, don't listen to anybody who uh, says they're a doctor but really isn't. And uh, Very and uh, stay safe and keep watching the Jasper file to uh, stay up to date on what's really happening in this. In this what now? Uh, in this country. In this country. Oh, yes, yes. I certainly agree, and uh, Dr. Jeaner, uh, thank you once again, and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you, Jasper. Terry? Uh, Terry says goodbye as well. All right. Thank you. <laughs>